on DSTV 404. Now, Business and Arts South Africa have announced their uh, finalists for the 17th Annual Business Day Bus Awards. This year's uh, finalists include Buzz Publicity's Pro Bono Media Sponsorship of Asitej South Africa and Bank of America's uh, Sponsorship of the Kharat Sikoto Song for Sikoto at the Witz Art Museum. Now, tell us more. We're joined by Marketing and Operations Manager at Business and Arts South Africa, Lonobo Mavuso. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. Let's give our viewers background into these awards. Who, what are these awards and who do they honor? Sure. Uh, before I do that, let me mm -hmm. first just give a background around, around Barca. Mm -hmm. So Business and Arts South Africa was um, formed in 1997 mm -hmm. as a public-private partnership between the Department of Arts and Culture mm -hmm. and Corporate South Africa. Mm -hmm. And we have over 170 um, corporate members, so from your JSE to your banks to small to medium enterprises. Mm -hmm. And we see our role as creating mutual beneficial relationships yep. between the arts and business. All right. Lona, I need to go, oh, okay, hold on for me one second while we allow the... Uh, so, but the Business Arts South Africa uh, awards that are happening on the 7th, uh, it's the 17th, rather, annual Business Day Bus Awards, which take place on the 25th of August. And we're going to see if we can uh, get Lenovo to give us a brief background and start from scratch. Okay, let's see. The Gremlins are awake. Are they out of our system? Okay, yes, they see to you out of our system. Lenovo, before I interrupted you, give us background into BASA and how these awards come together. Okay, um, so Business Law South Africa was formed in 97 mm -hmm. as a public-private partnership mm -hmm. between the Department of Arts and Culture mm -hmm. and Corporate South Africa. All right. And um, we have over 160 corporate members, um, so from your JSE to your banks to small to medium enterprises. And we see our role really as creating mutual beneficial relationships between businesses and the arts. And the awards this year, or the awards in general, mm -hmm. are one of our flagship programs where we celebrate and recognize businesses who um, invest in the art to support the art throughout the year. All right, so what can we expect this year? What can we expect this year? Wow. Um, this year, it's quite, an, in, it's quite a, an interesting year in terms of um, all the applications and the finalists. It's quite diverse in the sense that there's businesses, we're seeing businesses all over the region, so in the Free State, in mm. KZN. So we're starting to see um, businesses not just from your, your big um, centers like your Johannesburg and Cape Town, where historically they've been mostly the ones that support the arts, but we see also businesses in other regions um, seeing the value in supporting the arts. Talk to us about some of the lessons that have come of, from hosting these awards. I mean, this is the 17th edition of these yeah. awards. You know, surely this comes with lessons as well. Sure. Um, what we've also seen, and I think it's also um, driven largely by the economic climate, mm -hmm. we've seen in our in-kind sponsorship that there's been a rise so whereas, whereas business is not necessarily giving hard cash, it's giving their services, which is equally, uh, if not more important, mm -hmm. um, and we always tend to focus on money, but in-kind support is also quite uh, fundamental and very important, and we see business giving more money through that. Talk to us about the categories. I mean, there's different categories and the, the different finalists this year. Break it down for us. So we have about 12 categories that we're awarding this year. So mm -hmm. we have the Innovation um, Award. We have Long Term Sponsor. We've seen NetBank, uh, who's been supporting the Arts and Culture Trust for over 20 years. Yeah. So um, we also have the Innovation Award, where uh, TBWA um, is supporting a project called Dancing for Room 13, mm -hmm. where it got CEOs of major companies to learn an instrument and perform, yeah. which was quite an, a fascinating um, fascinating project. Um, we have diverse and various um, other categories as well. Now your judging panel, I mean, I saw your judging panel has the likes of Mary Corrigal in there, mm. you know, you have Kojo as well. What do they bring to the table and why specifically that? So our, we're quite fortunate that we have quite an interesting um, interesting um, judges in our panel. So like you said, Kojo yeah. comes from a media background and yeah. also a poet, so brings a, a lot of his kind of artistic background into that. Um, we also have um, representatives from business, um, Gianni from uh, Master Antonio, who's yeah. also passionate about the arts. Um, also Dali, Dali Tambo, as yeah. we know, who's also invested and has been asked for quite some years. So it's quite diverse. And also uh, DJ Fix for 5FM, so yeah. from young to old, business um, the arts, uh, media, so it's, it's quite an interesting mix of people. What are we seeing this year in the different categories? I mean, we spoke about, you know, the buzz publicity, mm. uh, pro bono bit, and even the bigger companies that are doing bigger things, you know. What is the difference this year if you compare the companies that you're, you know, the businesses that you're honoring this year? 
Um, what we're also seeing is that small businesses are starting to also engage in this, mm. which is fantastic. I mean, they will be the future big corporates and big giants of this, um, of this industry. So it's nice to see them starting from, from early on and seeing the value in supporting us. Like your Buzz, um, Buzz Publicity, which is a small um, business, mm -hmm. and saw the value of giving an in-kind sponsorship mm -hmm. um, to Azatech, which was fantastic. Let's talk about, you know, making sure that the, 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 there are companies out there who couldn't be bothered about the arts, you mm. know. How do we get them to see the bigger picture? You know, like you said, it does not necessarily have to be money. Yeah, you know, it could be something else. Absolutely. How do we bring those companies on board where we can see the growth of art in this country? So as Barca, we've also taken a, a quite a, a systemic strategy in mm -hmm. saying how do we show value for businesses yeah. and also not just um, businesses supporting the arts through marketing or CSI, but how do we start encouraging business to see the value in supporting the arts so that it can drive innovation, it can drive um, transformation in their businesses. So um, we also have uh, numerous events that we kind of organizing through the year to kind of drive this. For instance, on um, the 31st of July, mm. um, we're having what we call Africa Breakfast, right. where, we, um, where we get business and we talk about how the arts can be a progressive enabler for business wanting to operate in Africa. So we're always constantly finding innovative way and interesting ways to support businesses and to use the arts, and therefore we believe that that will create, uh, well, it will create value and they will seek value in supporting the arts. Is our businesses and the arts generally on the same page? Generally speaking, um, I think we've still got a, a, a lot of work to do in terms of understanding the value of art. And you have some businesses like your Standard Bank, Rand Merchant Bank, mm. Nando's, who really understand um, the value of business and have been supporting the arts. And there are some businesses who who are still getting into it. Um, and we are, obviously, we, it's in our interest to get all businesses to understand the value of art and also the value of art in society. And what do these awards do, though, for in, in this quest to get businesses and art <coughs> on the same page. So these awards are to celebrate and to recognize and to say thank you for putting your money where your mouth is or your service or your in-kind sponsorship, yeah. you know, so to speak. So um, it is really to say thank you and and we want to showcase all those businesses and to 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 encourage other businesses to to see the value and also to, to, to be partake as well. All right, so let's talk about the 25th of August. That's the day of the awards. Yes. Uh, what can we look forward to on this day? Well, without giving too much, yeah. um, <laughs> we're quite excited for the awards again. And this year it's happening at the Market Theatre. Mm -hmm. And as we celebrate 20 years of democracy, we're also looking into the future. So it's quite a, it's going to be quite an interesting play of the old and new. Yeah. yeah. All right, Lenovo, thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, he is the Marketing and Operations Manager of Business and Arts South Africa, talking to us about the 17th Annual Business Day Bass Awards, which take place on the 25th of August, as he said, at the Market Theatre. Let's take a nap break. Stay with us.